Hi and welcome to a new tutorial from Trading Shenzhen. I would like to show you how to get all the languages you need with More Local 2 on every Chinese device, mainly for the Google Play Store apps. We skip to our website, click on Service and How To Tutorials on the Multi Language Tutorial, and we have to download this package which has all the files you need to get More Local 2 on your device. We download it. It is a zip file. You have to extract it on the Windows PC, sadly and then we can work with more local too. Firstly, we click on the install more local file. It opens up a box and now we have to move to the smartphone where we have to open the settings app and usually you scroll to the bottom of the device. There you see the about device and we search for the version number. Here you have to click on version and at the top you see the firmware or version number. You click five times on it and then it activates the developer options. Usually they are in additional settings. Sometimes they are here at the bottoms or sometimes they are at the smartphone bottom in the settings, but here they are in additional settings. You go to additional and there you see the developer options. Now we have to search for USB debugging, which is usually pretty on the start of it. There we see the USB debugging, we activate it and only for Oppo devices, you have to activate one more feature, which is not available on all the Vivo or Xiaomi devices, but for Oppo it is needed. If we are here, we activate also the Windows animation to get faster animations. If you like it, it's really fast and speedy. And then on the pretty bottom of the settings on Oppo devices, you see disable permission monitoring. You activate it. Now we can click on the Windows PC on the spacebar, it will activate the script and you have to plug in your USB device into the smartphone. Usually this allow USB debugging message will pop up, you make the check and you allow it. If it doesn't pop up, just unplug uh, the USB and start the script again. Usually it will pop up the second time. What happens now, More Local 2 will be installed on the device. You install it here with the message and then it's on your device. Now we have to give more local to the permission to change the settings of the language and we do it when we click the second script you press the spacebar and more local 2 has the permission to change the language of the google play store apps now you have to set the language you want to have you open up the more local 2 app and search for your language you want there are around 150 languages and usually you click just on it if there isn't a language which you're searching for you can always click on custom local and add your language code and from this on every app which comes from the play store is in your language for example here spanish all the apps you see are in spanish they are installed in spanish the text is in spanish the settings is in spanish and when you click on Instagram, you have all the settings, everything in Spanish and every app which comes right now from the Play Store will be moved to Spanish. The browser, for example, it can be deactivated. You install Google Chrome and there you have also Google Chrome in Spanish. For example, also Todoist will be also in Spanish. What doesn't change are the system internal apps for example the phone app the phone app will stay in english of course the messages app although there is a google play store google messages app you can install and here for example the camera app it has some strings in spanish so it shows also spanish language but the settings app for example will stay always in english what can be also changed is your keyboard just install google keyboard go into the keyboard settings manage the keyboards and activate Google Keyboard and in Google Keyboard you can install 200 languages and use it like a normal Spanish phone or any other language. That was the More Local 2 tutorial. Now you get every app from the Google Play Store in your language and usually most of the time we're spending in the Google Play Store app and all the other apps there are maybe sometimes replaces in the Google Play Store app or they are pretty pretty general. I hope you like the tutorial. If you have some questions, just post it into the comments. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Thanks, your trading Shenzhen team.